Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in ChatGPT, and I'm gonna show you how to use ChatGPT to create your own course or course plan. And this is going to include lessons, exercises, all of these various things that may or may not go into a course. I'm gonna show you how to do it. And not only that, you could take these types of courses, and then of course, with a little bit of your own uh, flair thrown in, you can sell them on places like Skillshare and Udemy and Gumroad, for example. So let me show you. I'm gonna click over here on the left side to create a new chat. We're gonna go through it step by step. Now this works in G both GPT 3.5 and GPT-4, but it works a little better in four, so I'm gonna use it, plus I paid all that money for it, so I might as well get my money's worth. So here we go. The first step, and I'm gonna put this prompt in the description, so I highly recommend you take this prompt word for word. I'll read it to you, and I just copy and paste it in, and then I hit enter. Basically, what it says is we create a comprehensive course plan with detailed lessons and exercises for Photoshop. Now, I have Photoshop. This will say topic or it'll just have like a, a, a space where you can put the topic of your choice in. Again, this is totally up to you what you create your course on. I'm doing Photoshop because I know Photoshop quite well. And then you also covers the experience level of expert. I've selected an expert level course because A, I'm very good with Photoshop and B, I wanna see how good these courses really are. It's one thing to create a, a basic level course, but if you ask GPT to create an expert course, well, you should be getting some expert level stuff and I should be able to assess that. So there you go. And then here it goes. The course should be structured with an average of 10 lessons using text and code blocks if necessary for the lesson format. I've used 10 lessons, but if you want fewer lessons or more lessons, all of these can be adjusted as you see fit. And then here we go. We're gonna get a full course plan, including course title and brief description, course objectives, and overview of lesson topics. Now, the detailed lesson plans for each lesson include objectives, content, and exercises and activities. Again, these are all optional, but I highly recommend you go with this one. And the reason why is because when we do the exercises and activities, I'm gonna show you how to get ChatGPT to create those for you on top of the whole plan. Finally, it's just here, final assessment or project. And again, the topic is Photoshop, just a quick reminder, and the experience level is expert. Last thing I'll note here is you wanna type this in here. I will type continue if you run out of tokens for the entire content. The reason why is ChatGPT only gives you a few, you know, it gives you like a 2,000 words or 1,500 words and then it stops. But if you tell it that you're going to con write continue, it will keep on creating the course. All right, here we go. So here's our description. The expert level course is designed to blah, blah, blah. It reads good. Here are the objectives. Here is the course outline. And as a Photoshop user, I can say right now, advanced image retouching, advanced layered mass techniques, advanced compositing techniques. Okay, this is fantastic. This, these are lessons that should be in an expert level course for Photoshop. So, so far, so good. Here is a lesson plan, and of course it gives you examples, but the first lesson, advanced image retouching, to learn advanced techniques, okay, to practice these techniques on different types of images, also sounds good so far. And then here we go, an overview of frequency separation, dodge and burn technique, Okay, you know what? The, that's pretty high-end stuff. In fact, frequency separation, I might have to take a, a look at that because I haven't done that in a few years. So yeah, even now, I'm learning from my own course. Wow, super cool. All right, and then exercises and activities. Notice it gives you the exercises but or, or the names of the exercises, but it doesn't give you the actual details. We'll get that in a second. Okay, so the next step is you'll notice here that we got to pretty close to the end of lesson two, but this is a 10-lesson uh, course plan, so I'm gonna hit enter, and here we go. It's gonna cook up the rest of that. Okay, it's gonna cook lesson three, and then it'll probably start on lesson four, and now this is the technique that we use to start creating the plan. I'm gonna go all the way to lesson 10, and then I'm gonna show you the final technique to get the exercises. All right, welcome back. So we've got here now to the end of lesson 10, and you'll notice here that it also has given us the final assessment. So let's go back to the top, and let's go look at lesson one, for example. So here is lesson one. The lesson objectives are fine. The lesson content, okay, this is fine. Let's look at the exercise and activities. Exercise one, practice frequency separation technique on a portrait, fo on a portrait photo. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write, uh, create a, uh, create a exercise for lesson one, 
exercise one, something like that. I just wanted to be that this is the first exercise. Now I want them to create it. So you could type that in a few ways. Here we go. Lesson one, advanced image retouching, practicing frequency separation techniques on a portrait photo. Photo. Blech. Objective. Instructions. Very important here. So it gives you the resources, what you're going to need, and the instructions. This is the money. This is where you go through it step by step, and you can check it against chat GPT. You go through this, and you ask for each, each lesson, each exercise, and you'll have a perfect course. I'll go one more thing. Write a final lesson. What was it called here? They called it final assessment. Sorry. Write a final assessment example something like that you can add this in if you want here is an example of a correct final assessment the complex composition project i like the name of it here's the objective here are the resources you're going to need here's a project description and here are the instructions this is beautiful this is how you can create expert level courses using just chat gpt in minutes that's all i got all of the all of the um prompts everything in here will be in the description below so feel free to take them use them as you see fit thank you for watching